Hi everybody. I want to talk to you a little bit about the TriStar Tester. I'm going to cover briefly some of the common do's and don'ts, some mistakes that I see uh, people making with these things, and I'm going to show you where it shines and how to interpret some of these things that are a little bit hard to understand. So number one thing I'm going to show you is a blog article that I wrote. So if you're not a video person, you can go read this blog article. Looking back over it though, it's a little, I, I think I could probably do a better job, but hit, hit up iPadRehab.com, click blog. If you're not following us, you should read, you know, all of these blog articles. Um, this one was a while back. Here it is, how to use the TriStar Tester. This is where I go whenever I want to know what does the TriStar Tester actually do? And it has everything that I'm going to talk about in this video is in this blog article. So this graphic here is what shows you kind of the pinout of what the TriStar Tester actually does. Um, how, what does it test for? So it, notice that there are eight pins on the TriStar Tester itself. So there's eight connections that it makes. Now, if we look at these connections, we can see that they're in pairs. Accessory 2, and then E-pair 2, PNN, and then there's Accessory 1, E-pair 1, PNN, then there's the 5-volt USB, power in, and ground. So there's power, ground, a data pair 1, a data pair 2, and then power to the chip on the cable one and power to chip on the cable two. So let's remind ourselves how these look on the schematic, which I think is also really important um, so that we can really understand what does this tester do and what does it not do? Because sometimes we get a little bit confused by just kind of assuming that it's a magical tool when it's really not magic. So let's look here at the schematic and I've pulled up an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 7 to kind of compare. So this is the iPhone 6 dock connector and now we can kind of see a translation where let's look around. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I see speakers, I see microphones, but then I can find the eight lines that the TriStar tester can actually test. So where are they? Here's accessory one, here's data pair one, PNN, pair two PNN and accessory two, and then down here, five volt USB. Those are the eight lines that the TriStar tester can actually test. Now let's see, what does that look like on a seven? And I'm showing you on the six and on the seven so that you can see that the names of these lines might be different between devices, but their function is the same. So the TriStar tester will work on any device that has a lightning interface through a charge port uh, that uses the same the same chip. So that's going to be anything from iPhone 5, all the iPads, anything that uses this same uh, interface. So let's look here. Where Where is it? In the iPhone 7, here's TriStar Accessory 1, Data Pair 2, PNN, Data Pair 1, PNN, and Accessory 2. This is kind of of note. Look at this. Accessory 2 in the iPhone 7 is way up at the top of the connector. So what happens if you have a charge port that you don't really, you know, kind of wedge it in and it doesn't really click down, it doesn't make that crisp connection, then you're going to have a little bit of poor connection there on accessory two. So know that sometimes poor connection at the dock connector on an iPhone 7 is going to lead to... Um, some some miss results on the TriStar tester. It may tell you that TriStar is bad when actually you just don't have a good connection at the dock. That's one of the big ones. So I want you guys to see this. So all of these uh, TriStar uh, interfaces are the same. However, the tester can only test eight lines. Now, if we find if we follow our way to TriStar itself. Let's maybe do that here in the iPhone uh, 6 because it's really clear. Uh, so if we follow our way, great, follow our way to TriStar itself, I want to kind of point out problem number one. So when we look at TriStar, so here we are at TriStar, the TriStar tester can query those eight lines. So here's a five volt USB, which is called TriStar PN in the six. So one TriStar accessory, one and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and ground, right? So maybe it can do this one. I'm not really sure. So eight. That's eight. And what can it not do? All of these. Especially, I want to call your attention to some of these bigger ones, right? If you have a problem within TriStar where it fails but it affects reset, that's going to kill the phone. It's due to TriStar, but the TriStar tester has no way to pick that up. If you have just a problem on one of these I2C lines, same thing, phone won't boot. Um, and the TriStar tester won't be able to pick that up. So why do we use this tool at all? Because it's amazing and everybody loves it. The premise is that if TriStar is damaged, then usually, not always, usually it will take out one, at least one of the eight lines that we can measure. And in our experience, it usually takes out like all of the eight lines that it can measure often. So that does seem to be true. The TriStar doesn't fail just line by line usually. Okay, so, um, so I wanted to kind of call your attention to that number one fact. The TriStar tester can only query eight out of 25 lines there at TriStar. All right, uh, let's take a look at it functionally and see how, see this example. I've got a couple examples here really quickly. So this one is great. This is a classic. Uh, I think the hand camera has a hard time seeing it, but this says fail, right? This is where the TriStar tester really shines because the device this is attached to is an unopened iPad Pro. All right, so why, what's up with this iPad Pro? Why is this iPad not working? And if right at the front counter when the customer walks in, this is the first test that you're going to do. If the TriStar tester says fail, if it says fail and you click it and you say fail on one line or lots of lines and let's look at the results on this one. So I just clicked more details and now we can see fail, 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 fail on all of these lines. That is definitively a TriStar failure. So that's fantastic because now we know, okay, it is worth it to open up this iPad Pro because we know exactly what to do. We're going to change TriStar and most of the time that's going to leave this iPad uh, fixed. Sometimes they also need a charge port. So that's where the TriStar tester really shines. Without it, what are you going to do? What's wrong with this iPad? I don't know. Does it have a short circuit? Does it even turn on? I don't know. It's very open-ended and you may not even want to get into it at all. You might advise them to just go replace the device. All right, so that's where the TriStar tester really shines. All right, but it is not, it's not magic. So I want you guys to kind of understand a little bit about how to interpret some of the things that the TriStar tester can, can tell you. All right, so number one, because of what we just learned about how each one of these eight lines on the plug here, each one of them is important. Each one of them is going to query one of those eight at the dock connector that goes to TriStar. Because of that, this is not universal. It doesn't go in both ways like a regular charger does. So when you use a regular charging cable, well, I don't have one. If you, use a, if you use a regular just charging cable, you're only using four of them. Side one using accessory power one and data pair one, or accessory power two and data pair two, right? So in a normal cable, you only use four when you plug it in. And that's what makes it reversible. The TriStar tester is not reversible, right? It can't be because it's using every single one of them to query and ask a question, is this line good? So as a result, you can only plug it in in one direction. So what happens if you, if you forget that, right? And this happens to all of us, mostly when we're testing TriStar you know, just uh, like with just the board out. So you don't need a battery. You don't even need a frame or a housing. You can test it with just the board and a dock. That's all you need. So when you do that and you've just got this sort of dock that's kind of uh, hanging loose, let's do this one as, a, as an example. Let me grab a dock. And this is a pretty, you know, kind of common scenario where you might just say, let's see what's going on with this board. And you plug in the dock. 
All right, sometimes, like on an iPhone 6S Plus, this is going to actually fold when you install it in the device. So if I plug the TriStar tester in, you know, upside down, and I'll say exit and quick test, notice I ignore test. Test is dumb, test is misleading. Never touch that button. Quick test. Go ahead, buddy. Quick test. All right, so when it does quick test in one direction, it will query the dock first for open line. And it, if it doesn't, well, that's a really weird artifact. It doesn't, it looks totally normal to my eyes, but the camera uh, is, is picking up that scan. All right, so if you plug it in in one direction, it will, it will work. If you plug it in the opposite direction, then it's going to tell you, uh, I can't, I got all open line. I got what I don't expect. And so it would say dock fail. That doesn't mean that the dock is actually bad. It can't really tell you if the dock is bad other than if it detects an inappropriate open line. So if you see fail, first thing, ask yourself, do I have it plugged in in the right direction? Because it's only going to work in, in uh, one direction. OK, um, let me unplug this. OK. Yes, and then Chrissy's got an important point. Now we have these dongles, which um, are meant to help the, extend the life of the device so that you, you know, it has a little bit of dangliness. Dangly dongles are always a plus. Um, the, the dangle, you're going to have to, you can plug it in and you have to do the same thing. You have to know that it's not going to work if you flip this upside down, right? It's not universal like we expect, right? This is not going to work. This is going to say dock fail. Doesn't mean the dock is bad. It just means I did a simple diode mode test of the dock and I didn't get what I expect. So I'm not even going to try a TriStar test. I don't have a path to TriStar. Great. Then that means flip it around. All right. So kind of work on something that you know works so that you've got this set up and ready to go right out of the box. Okay. Next point is um, that so point number one is that you have to make sure that you know that it doesn't work in both directions. It's only going to work in one direction. Next thing to bring to your attention is my favorite, favorite thing to see when I plug this in to any device. So I'm going to plug it into this one and it doesn't show me what I want to see. God damn it. Chrissy. Oh, here we go. There we go. So this one has my favorite thing to see, which is the exclamation triangle. Woohoo! The TriStar tester will generate that when right out of the gate, as soon as you plug it in, it detects short circuit. There is a short circuit that it can detect. One of these lines is short to ground. So that's a really instant thing that the thing is going to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a short circuit. Now you can continue on with the quick test and it will query all of those lines. But it's just seeing that exclamation point. That means, yes, you definitely have a fail. You can skip the long test because it's going to fail. You have a short circuit. So that's what that exclamation point uh, really means. And that seems to, to troll a lot of people. All right. Now, here's the, the, uh, the other thing that I really want you guys to, to recognize, which is this idea that this thing can tell you if the dock is good. It can't. It cannot tell you anything about the dock being good or bad. But it, it, it implies that it can, and that's why I'm making this video. The do's and don'ts. This TriStar tester cannot say dock is good. Now, that's important because we're starting to see more and more bad docks for all kinds of problems. I've even seen iPhone 8 bad docks look just like iPhone 7 audio IC, where it has grayed out voice memos or no audio devices found, right? Bad dock you know, is a really, really big problem. Even brand new ones that you open up out of the package are often bad docks. So those are, th those are a big, big deal 
Do not think that the TriStar tester can tell you if the dock is bad or not, because it can't. So let's think about what does this device do and what does it expect. So if it does a diode mode test, it cannot tell you if data pair one and data pair two are bridged together because in the dock itself, there's a malfunction or something mashed together <clears throat> or just a defect, right? It, it would have no way to know because those numbers are gonna come back really, really similar, right? So it can't just say your dock is good. Know that, this thing can't say that. So how do bad docks come up? Sometimes they will, this thing will, will say dock is okay because there's no open line. And then it says, um, you know, such and such line fail. So it seems like a TriStar failure. I want you to kind of always be thinking, mm, maybe not. And if you get a fail on one line or two lines, I want you to think that could be because of a bad dock. And I want you to, 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 to get a new dock, regardless of what this thing says, and do it anyway, right? So remember, this is just a, this is a fantastic tool. I absolutely love it, and we use it every single day. But it has its limitations. So, so don't read the text and let it try to tell you uh, what to do or how to troubleshoot it, right? If you see one like this where you have lots and lots of fails, that's going to be a legitimate failure, right? I know it's hard for you guys to see. I think it's hard for you guys to see. But the lines that are failed are fail, 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 pass, fail, 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 fail. So the only line that's, that's there's only one that's not a fail on this one. All right, let's turf this one back to Christy for her to fix. There you go, Christy. Thank you for your service. All right, next, I want to talk about this one. Now, this is why I'm making this video, because of this phone that, uh, that came up. All right, so let's see what happens when we use the TriStar tester uh, on this device. So we're going to blank it back out. We're going to plug it in in one direction that we know is the appropriate direction. We're gonna make sure that we have a dock connected. It doesn't matter, matter if this battery is connected or not. It's completely, I don't care about the battery at all. We'll just leave it there. All right now, I never, never hit test because that does this stupid battery presence thing that I can, it, for the life of me, I don't understand why that was included in the final, final model here. So we always, always use quick test. Let's hit it, quick test. Quick test, and it says testing dock flex. Testing, it said dock flex is okay. Great. Now that doesn't mean anything. All it means is that there that it's not in upside down. It means it did not detect a big fat open between this guy and TriStar. So it 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 just says, do I have an open? No, dock okay. Right? And what it really means is no open between me and TriStar. That's what that means. All right, so then it carries on to do the TriStar test. It doesn't mean that the dock is necessarily good. It just means that there's no open. All right, so it's going to chug along, and it's going to do this test. Now, I'm going to give you a heads up. I already know what's wrong with this, and it is a bad dock. Okay, so I'm going to let you know what's wrong with this phone is not TriStar. It is a bad dock. All right, so this thing... This thing sometimes, when I've done it on this phone, will come up fail, and sometimes it will come up with this warning. Warning just means I don't know what to tell you, because usually I expect, like in the last one, all the lines, or all of them but one, to be, to be a problem. So I'll say fail. I don't know what to tell you when I only get one line that is a fail. And this gray area, um, is, is something to be aware of. Now this one does say, so maybe you should suspect the dock, which is the problem here. But sometimes you don't get this message, it just says fail. That's when you gotta kinda use your noggin a little bit. All right, so this one, if we repeat it, sometimes we'll get this ambiguous warning. Um, it means that there is a problem detected on just one line. And we can say, okay, tell us. So if we clicked more, it says fail. And if we say, give me some details. It picked up a fail on just this one line here, which is a, the accessory one line. Okay, now how do we know that this is a um, that this is a bad dock? Because we can see it 
with our eyes. So this is why I, I really like this one. This is an SE, and look at the SE screen. See how there's this circle there? And look at where that circle aligns to. See, if we were to close it up, let's kind of visualize where would that rough edge of that circle, where would that align? Somewhere right around here. Now, let's go look under the microscope and see if you can see what, why we wanted to make a video about this phone. So let's see, here we are under the microscope. Here is the spot roughly where that circle is, somewhere around here. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. Can you see that really clear circular impression, right, like that? Right, this is, has kind of pushed down and flattened, maybe pressing it into something else on the bottom layer, maybe br pressing them into each other, or maybe just kind of changing the resistance of that, of that line. That is why this thing is coming up as a fail. So the, remember, this device just said, you know, doc, okay. And then it said, oh, I'm not really sure. All right, so just know that. If you see one or two line failures, always try a known good doc, not just a new one, but a known good doc, because this thing cannot tell you whether or not the doc is, is good or not. Um, let's see, Christy, are there any other um, kind of problems that you have noticed with, um, people that are using these or any sort of like other tips and tricks? All right. I, I hear a lot of questions about the battery presence test, which is something that only comes up if you do, um, if you do test instead of quick test. All right. So let's see. I'm going to do this test again and uh, with the, that sort of overlaid known good doc. Let me see. What do you guys have to say in chat before we get to the end of this video? Have some of Lewis's donation money. Thanks, JP, for two bucks. All right, let me just kind of see um, if anybody has any questions about TriStar Tester while we look to see what happens with the new doc on this one. Yeah, see, there it goes. It says pass. And if we say, give me my details, it says all the lines pass now. So this phone, and we've confirmed this with the, with the overlay dock, it charges no problem. So we know that this one, it came to us as a TriStar failure because the TriStar tester said fail, but it wasn't. It was a dock failure, and that's why we wanted to do this video. All right, let's see. TriStar testers do. Plug it in. Yes. Don't. Trust it fully. Yes. Right, so it cannot tell you that TriStar is definitely okay. It cannot tell you that the dock is definitely okay. It can tell you that all lines fail. Fantastic, that's a bona fide failure. Know that. If you get all lines fail, that's a failure. Do not pass go, head straight to the microscope and change that TriStar right away. So it can tell you that. If you see one that has one or two lines that are a fail, think this could be either a bad dock or a poor connection. If you have it lifted up on one of those accessory lines, it may just return an off reading that the thing says is fail. There is an expert mode on this that you can, you can kind of uh, boot it up with one of the buttons pressed down. And instead of it just sort of analyzing for you, see how it says expert mode now, it will give you numbers, which you can decide for yourself, kind of get to know the numbers so that you might have a little bit better judgment than just the, the, the machine itself. Uh, so that's, that's uh, the other thing. Um, let's see, and it's not magic. It is not magic. Let's see, other questions about charge port. Charge port and TriStar tester. 
What is a dock? Charge port. Do you have a coupon code for the TriStar Tester? Yes. Go to iPad Rehab and click Purchase. TriStar Tester price is set by the manufacturer, and it's always the same. Would it say warning again if you close the screen again? Well, uh, this? Well, I've ch changed the... I've, it said warning with the screen open. It'll still say warning if the screen is closed, which is how we, uh, which is how it originally came to us. It might say fail. I'm not sure, but if you close the screen, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> Instead of ambiguous, it may say fail. Um, sometimes it said it it says fail, and sometimes it says ambiguous because of the bad doc. Let's see. Um, yes. Would it still say warning with the old doc with the screen open? Yes, that's how I tested it the first time. Okay. All right, so there we go. I just wanted you guys to, to know those things and kind of have this sort of reference video to understand that exclamation point. Fantastic. That means there's a short circuit. If you see a whole bunch of fails, that's fantastic. Uh, it means go straight for TriStar. If you see a uh, you know, battery presence test, ignore that completely. If you see one or two lines failure, think that could still be the dock. This thing can't tell me I have a good dock. Try a known good dock, attach it under the microscope. Make sure that you don't have little plastic malformation, especially on the sevens where people are mashing in those docks all the time. Make sure you have a good connection. Press down on it, especially on that end that we talked about on the schematic where accessory two plugs in right at the end. Press that down and see if your reading changes. And know that this is a fantastic tool like we just saw. You know, Christy's able to know exactly what's wrong with that iPad Pro and go after TriStar. It really helps with the front counter customer service. It picks up a lot of the ones that come in that would, would appear to just be a bad battery. The TriStar failures where TriStar is the problem and changing TriStar solves it. And the manifestation, the symptom, is that it can charge just fine as long as the battery's not stone dead. Those ones are a big troll for the industry because people just put in a new battery, say it's good, and then the customer keeps coming back, keeps coming back, and that really erodes their confidence in the industry. TriStar Tester will pick up a lot of those as fails, but know that it's only measuring eight out of the 25 lines, so it can never tell you that your TriStar is absolutely good. It can only tell you if it's absolutely bad. And that's all we have for TriStar Tester. And hopefully you guys, if you, everybody has one, but if you don't, you can pick one up at store.ipadrehab.com anytime, night or day.